Hi everybody, a really, really strong, powerful evaluation based video here. A great diagram to use to flip the argument of monopoly. We used to say that monopoly charge high prices and produce a very low quantity and they exploit consumers, they lead to a welfare loss, all these bad things we used to say. In evaluation, if you can draw this diagram and understand the diagram, wow, you can really be taken very far with your final score. What we're trying to get to is this. So this is in your checklist. In your mind, you're thinking, right, the end goal of this diagram is to show a lower price and a higher quantity in Monopoly, reversing the outcomes we're used to talking about. How do we do it? Well, let's start by labeling the y-axis. Price, costs, and revenue, as we're used to doing. And quantity on the x-axis. We start with our revenue curves as normal. So the average revenue, which is equal to demand, marginal revenue, which is twice as steep. Okay, what we're trying to say is because a monopolist can benefit from huge economies of scale, their marginal cost curve might be lower than a perfectly competitive firm's marginal cost curve. So let's draw a competitive curve, firm's marginal cost. So it might be something like that, high, or quite high, because an individual firm, small firm, cannot benefit from the same kind of economies of scale as a monopolist can. So draw it quite high up and label that MC uh, competitive firm, something like that would be fine. Right, now we want to draw the marginal cost curve for a monopolist, which would be much lower because their cost of production will be lower assuming they have much greater economies of scale that they're exploiting compared to a competitive firm. And that means that a monopolist's MC might be over here much lower than for a competitive firm. Both firms are profit maximizers, we assume. So let's work out the profit maximization level uh, of both the competitive firm and the monopolist, and also the price. So MC equals MR happens here for the competitive firm. That takes us to QC, and read the price of the AR curve takes us to PC. Okay. Do the same for the monopolist. MC equals MR happens there. Call that QM read the price it charges off the AR curve and we get to PM. Look at the outcome. We've reversed what we're used to seeing with monopolies, where a higher quantity is being produced than a competitive firm and a lower price is being charged than a competitive firm. Amazing evaluation diagram right here. I know there are lots of assumptions here, there are lots of holes you can pick in the theory, but for the benefit of your essay, extremely powerful diagram. So now let's go to our checklist and make sure that the diagram is finished. Have we labelled our axis? Yes. Have we labelled our curves? Yes, we have, beautifully. Have we labelled our equilibrium? Yes, we have. Okay, so that means we've aced our diagram, we've drawn an ace diagram. Well done. <laughs> and have we done number four, which is the key thing? Have we shown a lower price and a higher quantity in Monopoly? Yes, we have. Perfectly done. So what a strong diagram in evaluation. The economies of scale benefit, which means that for the dynamic efficiency benefit, you have a diagram, and for the economies of scale benefit, you have a diagram as well. Great to use. Use it, learn it, practice it, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.